going and just yeah does he like his wagon oh yes if you can uh uh hold the wagon in your mind so i can connect with it so mm -hmm. that he knows what i'm referring to does it have a squeak yeah i just put wd-40 on the back last week <laughs> Hear it. So yes. you can... <laughs> <laughs> My God. How cute is that? <laughs> I'm trying to pinpoint the emotion. Um He's, I, he's sharing with me almost like he's in it, but he's, his head will turn. Mm -hmm. He just turns. And, um, and there's a part of him that almost goes like, like, although he knows what it is, there's a part of him that also goes, what is, what, what is this? <laughs> really? Yeah, not because he's, it's, but I think it's because he's such a thinker. He's trying yeah. to work out how, he's almost saying to me, like, how did man, he's becoming philosophical again now, how did man think to, to, like, to make something like that, to create something like that, to design something like that? It's like he's interested in, this is Yuki in his wagon. Oh my god, <laughs> that, no wonder his head. That is and so cute. It. Yes. Oh my so god. It's actually it's a rise and fall shopping trolley. It's perfect for his size. That is so cute. And it's worked wonderfully, but I just kind of at the moment I'm working on making it a bit more padded for him because he seems right. to be slipping a bit more in it. But yeah. he does literally put his head up and swivel it around yeah. and look out at everything. So, okay, so okay. it's, start, it's starting to make sense a bit then. So you made that. That's what he's, that's what he's doing. How did, <laughs> cause it's not like you bought a buggy, right? So he's, so his question is like his question or curiosity is, he calls it man, but he's doing a collective. How did man come to invent something like that? So he would be interested in you sharing how you came to like, make that you know so like you i said. saw it you can tell him for me i saw it on interestingly i saw it up from another dog that also lived in london that's now passed away was an older westie and i saw the mum had taken one of those and repurposed it for her older westie and i took a photo of it and i thought when we move to london which we did three years ago i'm going to find one of those and adapt it for him so pat it get the little sign made for the back and have that. Cause I, I don't like the doggy stroller. He's oh. been in the stroller once when he tore a cruciate ligament. He didn't like it either. Yeah. So I'm going to make something that's a bit more enjoyable for him to look out and be part of longer hikes based on he that wants, idea I saw. He wants to, it's like, you know, you know, the program they used to call Blue Peter. Yeah. Where yeah. The, he's like, he wants to know every single part of this from you. <laughs> So you can go through the whole thing, like how you saw it, how you photograph it, yeah. what, what you got, you know, wh how, you, how you, he just wants to know all of it. <laughs> That's divine. If you could make a video of like, you know, okay. these are the bits you need, this is yeah. what I what Does I. Does he want me to talk him through it? Yeah, just tell him. Well, okay. So when you're out with him, yeah. just say, you know, because he's like, made man in that he's like fascinated by how yeah. now that makes sense because of course you know of course when you talked about the wagon i'm thinking it's you know my my own thoughts would be oh it would be a buggy that you bought or a stroller but yeah it's got him like sat down and then going like this and going and how did man come to invent this it was like wow amazing i love it so 